it, and you know, Mr. Kramer's birthday is today, and I turned 59 years old. So can you, can everybody write down the number 59? And we've done this one time before, but I was really thinking that we could do it again to see if there's a new way to figure out how many months old is Mr. Kramer. So remember, if you guys wrote down the number 59, we could always multiply 59 by what number? How many, raise your hand if you know how many months there are in one year. Raise your hand right now. How many months are there in one year? On three. One, two, three, go. Wow. Months. Yes. And those months are, let's start with the months and let's put just a single letter. So the months are go. Say, go ahead. January. 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 February. 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 March. March. April. 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 May. May. June. June. July. 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 August. September. October. November. December. October. October, November, 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 December, December. And I really, really like to write out my months in a four by three grid. It really seems to work very well. Now, we are now in the month of July, and today is the 17th of July. How many days are there in each of these months? So how many days are there in each of these months? So there's a really interesting saying that is, are you guys ready? 30 days as September. Anybody know the next one? 30 days as September. And then we say April. So you know the other one? June. And November, November, all the rest, all the rest have, say it out loud, 31, 31, except for February, which has 28 or or what? Nine. What, Jason? You said it. Twenty-nine. Yes. And also February is my birthday. February. Yeah. Oh, now listen to this, guys. In the year twenty twenty. In the year twenty twenty. February had 29 days. So every four years, February has 29 days. So who can tell me, raise your hand, what is the next year 
when February is going to have 29 days. These are called leap years. Leap years. That's right, Catherine. So what is the next one? If it happens every four years. So Eleanor, you give me one, and then Jason, you give me one, and then I'm gonna ask Valerie and Catherine. Go, Eleanor. 2021. 2001? 2021. No, 2021 is this year, and it's only one year after 2020. What is four years after 2020? Jason? A little bit louder there, buddy. 2024. Okay, very good. I just barely heard you. Next time, I want you to belt out those words. Now, Catherine, do you know the next leap year where February has 29 days? Four Two years after that. 228. Very good, but it's remember, it's 2,028. Very, mm. very nice. Valerie, what's the next one? 2,032. Awesome. And Eleanor, what's the next one? 2,036. Yes. And Jason, one more. Right. And so it's so much fun when I look at the months of the year and I think to myself, how many days, how many days are there in a year? Does anybody know how many days there are in every year? Valerie? 365. Yes. So there are 365 days in every year that is not a leap year. Because in a leap year, how many days? 365. Right. So now let's do this, guys. Let's take one two, three, well, you tell me, raise your hand if you know how many days of the year have 31 days. How many days of the year have 31 days? Okay. Go for it, Catherine. Yeah. June. Well, tell me not ju how many months have 31 days. So you would just count one, two, three. So how many? Raise your hand. Don't say it out loud. If you know, Eleanor? Seven. Yes. So seven times 31, seven times 31. Now, how many, Valerie, how many months have just 30 days? Mm -hmm. Four. Four, so four months have 30 days, and let me ask you this, Catherine, how many months have just 28 days? One. Exactly. So I want everybody to look at this graph, and we're going to first do 7 times 30. Everybody think, let's count by seven, three times, 
and then we're gonna tack on a zero. Now, Jason, could you do me a favor? Could you take away your virtual background because you've got like a, um, you're going in and out of the screen because you've got this blurry, blurry background. So if you just, yeah, that's much better. Thank you very much. So how many of us can count by sevens? Let's see if we could count. Go, ready, go. Seven. Seven. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Now, it's not twenty-one, but seven times thirty is, come on, tack on a zero. Say it out loud. Hundred ten. Now we have to add seven times one, which of course is what? Just seven. Seven. Now, what is four times 30? Because now we have to do three fours and then tack on a zero. So let's do it. Ready? Four. Four. Eight. Eight. Ten. 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 No, 20. no, come on, we're counting by four. Four, Nine, eight, eight, twelve. No. twelve. Right. So four times three is twelve, but it's not four times three, it's four times thirty. So it is a hundred and twenty. Now, what about one times twenty eight? Raise your hand if you could do one times 28. And Valerie, I can't see you anymore. You've kind of disappeared out of the screen. That's much better. Um, it's, yeah, that's even better. So everybody say it on three. One, two, three, go. 28. Of course. And now let's add the ones column. Everybody, let's do it. Seven plus eight is what? Come on, 15. seven plus eight yeah. is 15. Five, carry the one. Two plus two plus two is? Ten. Four. Four. No, two, no, two plus two plus two. Six. Is six. six. And two plus one is? Three. Three. And everyone, you just proved that there are 365 days in a year using some beautiful multiplication and addition. Now, let's go back over here. Mr. Kramer is 59. The question is, how many months old? Now, normally we would take 59, and we would do 59 maybe times 10, and then we would do 59 times two and add them together. And Valerie, I want you to pick up your pencil right now because then you'll be really well focused. I want you guys to think of a better way to do it. What if we were to think of a number that's really close to 59? Who knows what number is really close to 59 and easier to work with? Who's got an idea? Raise your hand if you have an idea of a number that's easier to work with than 59. Because 59 is not such an easy number but I know what number is really close. Yeah, go ahead, Jason. Six. So Minus. 60. Wait a minute, hold on a second. We, the answer to the question, guys, is 60. So if we were able to do 60 times 12, then couldn't we just subtract one 
times 12? Yes. So Ooh. I want everybody to work with me here. What we're going to do is we're going to do 12 times 6. You know that after we do 12 times 6, we're going to tack on a 0. So everybody, let's count by 12s. Are you ready? Get set. 12. 12. 12. 20. 24. 36, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, and what do we have to put at the end of it? A zero. zero. Exactly. And now all we have to do is take away 12. Now, you are very close to finding Mr. Kramer's age in months. Everybody write down 720, take away 12. Now you could either do 720 take away 10 and then take away two. There's many, many different ways to do it. And if you finish this problem fast, figure out how many months old you are. Because I bet you are about between 48 and 72 months old. But I would love to see you guys figure out yours. So raise your hand when you have the answer to Mr. Kramer's age in months. Okay, good. Now, Jason, go figure out your own age in months right now. And if you're hey, finished I'm with- I'm already done. Where's my age too? Good. Why don't you figure out your parents' age in months as well? You first have to ask them how old they are in years. So, Valerie, how are you doing? Are you working this? Yeah. Good. How about you, Catherine? Yeah. Great. And you, Eleanor? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, so who was able to figure out Mr. Kramer's age in months? Go ahead, let's hear it on three. One, two, three, go. 708 is Mr. Kramer's age in months. Now, that's pretty old, isn't it? I am 708 today. Now, how many of you did 720 minus 10 equaled 710, and then 710 take away two, which was 708? How many of you did it that way? Good, good, good. Jason. I know, I know how many months I am. How many months are you, Valerie? 57. Wow. 57 months. How many months are you, Jason? I'm just five. Say one more time. I'm just five. Oh, but in months. So five times 12. One, two, three, four. Jason, look up. Five. So you are how many months? 60. 
You are 60. And how about you, Catherine? Seven months. Oh, 67 months. 67. Fantastic. And how about you, Eleanor? I don't know. How many years old are you? Six. Well, if you are six, then you know that you are 72 months old because six times 12 is 72. Now, Eleanor, when was your birthday? Actually, when did you turn? Actually, actually, I'm 72 months old too because I was, I was counting last year. Oh, okay. And what about you, Eleanor? When was your sixth birthday? July 8th. Oh, wow. So you are actually 72. And Valerie, what's your new number? Um, Didn't you it, just say it? My birthday's in January. How old were you in January? Well, January, I turned six. Ah, so you are 72 plus seven. Can you do 72 plus seven? Where are you going? 79. Yeah, that is it, 79. And then Mr. Kramer is 708. Now, that makes me way, way older than any of you, which is kind of a lot of fun. So I'm so glad we got to do that together. And I wish that Stella were here so we could get her age in months also. And maybe she will do that for us, taking her years times 12 to get the number of months. That would be awesome. Now, let us start with this next challenge. And that is, I want you, each and every one of you is gonna answer one of these questions and tell me all the really interesting ways that you have to answer them. So I'm gonna ask um, first, Jason, can you do, um, 59 plus eight, but tell me, before you give me the answer, tell me how you thought about it. plus eight. So before you give me the answer, think of how your brain is thinking about adding eight to 59. And everybody listen to what Jason has to say. Five plus eight equals 13 and the, and the add a one and, and the carry one equals 14. And so, the, so say that again, buddy. Five plus Eight. So what eight plus eight? Five. Mm, you wouldn't do five plus eight. You would do 59 plus what gives you 60? Everybody say it. 59 plus what number? One. 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 And then how many are left in the number eight? When you take one away from eight, you get seven. And therefore, Jason, 60. 57. Yes, very, very nice. Now, Catherine, I want you to do 62 plus eight and tell me how you thought about that. And everybody should listen to Catherine. 62 plus eight, Catherine. 
I know the answer, but I don't know how to do it in like a different way. Well, what way did you do it? What answer did you get? And how did you do it? I just used the equation. What equation? So what is the answer first, Catherine? 70. Beautiful. Now, Catherine, some people will add 2 plus 8 to get what? 10. And then 10 plus 60, 60. equals 70. Exactly. So at least that's the way Mr. Kramer thinks about 62 plus 8. Now, now I want to hear Valerie do 52 plus 40, and I want to hear your methods. And if I were you, I would write it down. Okay, what'd you get there, Valerie? Valerie, were you able to do 52 plus 40? Valerie, can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Because, okay, so Valerie. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying well, to figure it out. Well, write it down. 52 plus 40, <coughs> write it down. Everybody write it down. Everybody write it down. Add the ones and then add the tens, Valerie. Okay, Valerie, I'm ready for you now. Come on, two plus zero is? Two plus zero is? Two. And five plus four is? Two. So come on, and five nine. plus four is? Nine. And what do we get? Nine. Nine. Two. Nine. Ninety-two. Ninety-two. And that is the best practice. Now, Eleanor, I want you to tell me how you do 45 plus nine. And everybody write it down too. But Eleanor, you're gonna explain it. And do it the same way that Jason did 59 plus eight by adding 59 and one and then seven more. So here we would have 45 plus what? What makes the next 10, Eleanor? 45 plus what? One. 45 plus five makes 50. And now, Eleanor, how many is left over? Five plus what is nine? Four. Right. So since 45 plus five is 50, the answer is... 54. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Now, who's ready to do 76? Take away 50. Jason, do you want to try that one? Jason, can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? Okay. Jason, would you like to try 76 minus 50, please? Is that a yes? Give me a thumbs up if you're gonna try it. Yes. Okay, good. And 
everybody write this down and just think six take away zero, seven take away five, write it down. And Valerie, I lost your video again. If you sit up and you see yourself in the screen, then you know what I can see. Jason, how did you do? Seventy-six minus fifty-seven minus five equals two six. Six minus zero equals six. It is seventy-six. So what do you get as an answer, Jason? Well, six minus zero is six. Seven minus five is two. Everybody, what do we get as an answer? 26. 26. Now, everybody write down the next one. 54 minus 23. And if you write it down like that, it's so nice and easy to just do four minus three, five minus two, and you get the answer in a couple of seconds. On three, one, two, three, go. 31. 39. 31. 31. Now, this is my favorite part of subtraction. Would you like to see my favorite part? Yeah. You can always yes. take the number subtracted and the answer and add them together. So if we add 23 and 31, do we get 54 where we started? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. cool? And look at this. If we take 50 plus 26, oh my gosh, we get 76. It is so awesome. So I'm a big lover of subtraction just because I love addition too. Now, I want everybody right now to write out these numbers. I'm gonna read this to you. Are you ready? You wanna write with numbers, six tens, two hundreds, seven ones. Six tens, two hundreds, seven ones. Now write down the answer. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna count to 10. Okay, raise your hand if you have the answer. So, I want Catherine to give us this one. Go ahead, Catherine. 267. Wow. Everybody look at this. 200s, yes. Six tens, yes. And seven ones, definitely. And the reason why that was hard is that everybody wants to say 627 because that's the way they read it. But if you really pay attention, you'll see that the two represents the hundreds, the six represents the tens, and the seven represents the ones. Now, who wants to try the next one? And Valerie, I can't see you anymore, um, nor can I hear you. So if you could come back, that would be great. Yes, and so don't hit that cartoon thing anymore. Try to stay with us. So Valerie, did you see what Catherine did? Six tens, two hundred, seven ones was 267. Now, raise your hand if you do the next one. Eight ones nine 
hundreds. Write down the number right now. Eight ones, nine hundreds. And I'm wondering what number did everyone write down? Raise your hand. Valerie, I want you to go first on this one. 908. 908. How did you write it down? 908. Right. Very, very good. Now, what was the tricky part about this, Eleanor? What was tricky? How many tens were there in this number? Eleanor, how many tens are there in that number? Zero. Right. There are zero tens in that number. 908. Valerie, beautiful job. Now I'm going to give you guys one that's a little bit harder. So I'm going to give you one where there are five tens. There are seven hundreds. There are six ones. And there are three thousands. Let's see if you could give me that number. It's a four digit number. So write it out, Valerie, write it out. And then you can tell me the answer, but I wanna see if anybody else comes up with it too. Okay, I'm gonna start with Eleanor on this one. Go ahead, Eleanor. 3,756. Awesome, great job. Now everybody, Valerie, did you get the same thing? Yes. Awesome, how about you, Catherine? Yes. And Jason? Is that a, Jason, you have to speak up, buddy. Yeah. Good job. Now, guys, do you see how I wrote out five tens, seven hundreds, six ones, and three thousands? If we line up our place values, we can just add six, five, seven, and three and get 3,756, just like Eleanor said. Eleanor, nice job. Now, what if I gave you a crazy challenge? Are you ready for a crazy challenge? Yeah. One. Yes. One. And one. million. That's it. One one and one million. Now write it down. Write it down. It's a really fun number. So Catherine, what do you think the number is? I think it's one million one. You are correct. And Jason, can you tell me how to write that number that Catherine said? One, zero, 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 one. 
Wow. Jason, that was amazing. Everybody look at that number. You write a one and a one on the end and in the middle are five zeros. Because this represents one million and this represents one, one. And then every one of these other place values has zero of them. So for instance, this one here is zero tens. This one here is zero hundreds. This one here is zero thousands. And this one here is zero ten thousands. And finally, this one here is zero hundred thousands. Unbelievable. Really, really nice work. Really, really nice work. Okay. So Mr. Kramer is going to go get another really fun problem. Now, the next one, I want everybody to write down the number 568 and then a comma, yes. then the number 578. So first, 568 and then 578. Please write those down right now. I'm done. Good. Now, I want you to skip count by tens. And I want one, two, three, four, five more. And if you're finished, keep going with another one and then another one and then keep going until your hand falls off. So the first one is 500 what? 509, 588. Right. And Valerie, what's the next one? 598. And Jason, what's the next one? Six hundred. And Eleanor, what's the next one? Six hundred eighteen. Nice. And Catherine, what's the next one? Not nine, 619. Well, that would be 618 plus one. You want to skip count by 628. Right. And Valerie. 6, 638. And so on. Very, very nice job. Now. What if we did the same thing, but now we're going to skip count by a different number? And what you guys get to do is you guys are going to get to choose your number. So I'm going to put a little, I'm going to erase the 10. So for instance, now, Mr. Kramer does not want you to do the same thing as me, but if I want to skip count by 15, then I know that the next number is going to be 583. 
and then 598. And I'm going to keep going and keep going. So what I want you guys to do is to choose a number. Everybody can choose a different number and it's got to be greater than 10. So the number you choose has to be greater than 10. And the way we write that is we go greater than 10. We make a little arrow and that means greater than 10. And we start with 568. Everybody chooses a different one and then see if you could fill in all the blanks. And then I'm gonna ask you what you got. Mama, I don't. Who would like to share what, which number they did? Okay, so Jason, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clone this page a few times. And let's see. Jason, I'm going to write your name down. And Jason, tell me, what did you choose? Forty. You say again? Forty. Like four zero or fourteen one four? Four zero. Four zero. Excellent. Okay, so you chose forty. Okay, go. Six hundred eight. Six hundred eight. Six. Six. job. Valerie, which one did you choose? I, I can't hear you, Valerie. I had 42. You chose 42. Wow. Oh, you mean 40 also? Yeah. Okay, then let's see you do it. 608. 648, 688, 700, 708. No, 700 would be 20. 700, 728. Good. 700, 58. Mm, that would be 30 more. 
768. And one more. 808. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful job. Now, Eleanor or Catherine, who would like to take the next one? Yeah, who would like to take the next one? Hold on one second, guys. Hold on one. I put it down. It's from Porky. Okay, everybody. Eleanor, what number did you choose? 20. 20. Go for it, Eleanor. One hundred eighty-eight. Awesome. What was Six hundred eight. Go, go, go. By forty. Six hundred and twenty-eight. Awesome. Six hundred forty-eight. Beautiful. Six hundred sixty-eight. Six hundred eighty-eight. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, Catherine. I count by 40. You, three of you chose the same number. Oh my God. Keep going. Six hundred eight, six hundred forty eight, six hundred eighty eight, seven hundred eight, seven hundred twenty eight, seven hundred sixty eight, seven hundred eight, eight hundred eight. Unbelievable. Now, there's one Mr. Kramer was thinking that somebody might have done 100. Because then you could have just done 668 and 768 and 868 and 968. And do you know what the next one is? And thousand sixty eight. One thousand sixty eight. Nice. Now I'm surprised that nobody chose to do skip counting by ten and a half. Would that have been funny? So yeah. 568, 578 and one half. What would the next one be? Who wants to try the next one? Skip County by 10 and a half. Jason? Five and uh, hundred, uh, eight, eight, and a uh, hundred. Any does do you does anybody want to help out a little bit, Valerie? What about you? Five hundred eighty. Eight. Very, and, very uh, close. Uh, very, very close. Uh, very close, honey. Jason, that was awesome. But remember, it's going to be 588 and one half 
plus one half, which is going to be five hundred eighty. Yes, 89. yes, five hundred eighty nine. Now, who is crazy enough like Mr. Kramer to try the next one? Because now we have to add ten, and then a half. So wouldn't that be five hundred? 99 and a uh, half. Right. And now the next one, I recommend that we first add one half, then you add 10. So go ahead and add one half first. So 599 and a half plus one half equals. Six hundred. Six hundred. And? Ten. Ten. Yes. Ten. And let's keep going. Six hundred and twenty. And? Six hundred. And guys, hundred thirty. <coughs> Close. It's six hundred and thirty and a half plus a half, or you could just add one half first to get six hundred twenty-one, and then add ten to get six hundred thirty-one. And guys, I want you to try this. Try skip counting with some crazy numbers. So I want you to try <laughs> skip counting with fractions. If you want. So everybody, everybody did such a beautiful job. Everybody give me a high five. And let's let's say happy birthday, Mr. Kramer. Happy, happy birthday, Mr. Kramer. Yep. Yeah. And guess what? I just had the best birthday present because you guys were I with me you. on my birthday. I love you. Next oh, is I my love birthday. you too. Next I is love my you brother. guys. Yes, Next Valerie. Is my, Next is my brother's class. Yes. Yes. Tell your brother I can't wait to see him. Bye, Eleanor. Bye, Catherine. Bye, bye Valerie. Bye. bye, Jason. Bye. Thank you. Love bye. you guys. Bye-bye.